to set the record straight about drug use. Aaron very openly submitted to a drug test. I'm sure you all are curious as well. And so the drug test, cocaine was negative, meth was negative, THC, aka marijuana, was positive, benzodiazepines, that. Xanax, for instance, positive. It was also positive for opiates, hydrocodone. But Aaron, what scares me about that drug panel yeah. is your sister perished from an overdose, yeah. and you've got a mixture of benzodiazepines with opiates, which yeah. is how many people accidentally can die. It's I don't want to be on that stuff. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's My horrible to have to depend on that. My sister passed away from it. Right. Why would I? I mean, what does that make you feel like every day, knowing it, that that substance is what killed it, your it, sister? It's not okay. It's not okay. I, I, I don't take it every day. I don't want to be on these. Mm -hmm. And I find, I find myself getting them off of the streets just to get them. I've been to multiple psychiatrists. I've been to multiple therapists. But nothing has ever helped me truly and truly worked the way that this is starting to and this show is starting to do. After a battery of even more medical tests, it was time to get the results and for Aaron to face the truth about his health status. Of every test that you had done, what was the one you were the most afraid of? HIV. <laughs> and, yeah, and because I was so skinny and yeah, I'm still so skinny and... So let's start with the test. Okay. All right? Let's do that. The main thing that concerned me was the fact that you, you're so thin. All right? right? Luckily, your liver is normal. Your kidney's normal. Your thyroid is normal. Oh. All right? There is no evidence of stomach cancer when we did the biopsy. Sure, you have a hiatal hernia. That can cause heartburn. All right? But there's no evidence of esophageal cancer. Nothing. But let me tell you what did concern me. Uh, <laughs> the fact that we did find candida, which is a yeast in your esophagus, uh -huh. Travis knows that, <clears throat> that's a sign of having a weakened immune system. When I first saw it, I thought, uh -oh, you're right, scaring me. <laughs> I thought this is gonna be HIV, this is AIDS, because I've done that for 30 years, and that's one of the signs. All right, luckily, your HIV test is negative. Oh my God. However, listen up here, this I'm is really important. You may be negative, but your system is still so weak that it can't fight off. You know, a yeast infection. Sorry, my part is just like, so, you guys no, no, gotta understand out yeah, there, no, like, take, this is like, no, I know, this is kind of like, uh, it's giving me anxiety, okay? So <laughs> my heart is racing. I, I, I did not take any medications before I came here. I haven't, in actually a couple of days, because I wanted to try to wean myself off of this, you know? And I have to say, I mean, first of all, like, Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you so much. I mean, I was so scared and so, so you're telling me I, I'm HIV negative. Absolutely HIV negative. And not one thing where you have to wait for six months. This is a test that within four days after we did it or before, it's called the fourth generation test, you're negative. From the day you, you tested for a whole battery of we, sexually transmitted infections. Actually, chlamydia and, negative, gonorrhea negative, syphilis negative. So you've dodged some you're bullets. Yeah. Even though your tests are normal, in my opinion, you're not healthy. And I want you to hear I that. Know that. I know that. Okay, I, I know that. Good, because that's I, the, That's why I came to you. Good. That's and that, why I came to the doctors. Good, because, because I mean, I knew I was not healthy. Yeah. And not, I still know. You're not healthy. I'm on, the I'm on the road to recovery. Good. I, I, I want to hear that. I want to see that. I want to see Actions that. Actions speak louder than words, Absol so I'll just show you. Shut up about it. <laughs> the fact that you think that you, that you think that you have it under control. You said, I can control these medications. Yeah. That, to me, is the scariest thing. Why is that, Why, if you don't mind me asking? Because all your life, I think, all right, that you have controlled things. You have been able to deal with everything that has come up. You're a smart guy, you're a charming guy. It's difficult not to like you, and you know that I like you. You know that, you're a great yeah, guy. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I respect what you're yeah. saying. Yeah, I, I, I understand what you're saying, but it's, it's not, I don't, I, it's not really about control. You have to take care of you before you're gonna be good for anybody, Aaron, including your career. Physically, right now, I think your, your body's hanging on by a thread, seriously. And like I said, I don't know what came first, the chicken or the egg. Yeah, I heard you say that. But this has to, in my opinion, my medical opinion, this has to calm down. What do you mean? Explain even more in depth I for think me. I don't care. You are going to say whatever you, you are want. I am going to say whatever I want. You are going a million miles a minute. Your brain, you you are trying to be the the singer, the entertainer. I just see it. You're this is not stopping. And until there's peace here, 
All right, the rest is not going to follow.